Hello there and welcome to the European Championships hosted here in The Hague in the Netherlands. The weather is beautiful and we are expecting 3,000 spectators here in Zuda Park for what should be a fascinating climax to this men's European Championships. 23 degrees here in The Hague. There's a slight breeze from left to right on your screen, but nothing that's causing too much or too many problems. We have Russia and Ilya Leshikov playing with the man Mountain back from his season in indoor volleyball, Konstantin Semenov, where they beat Stoyanovsky and Velechko, an up and coming and very, very robust Russian team in the quarterfinal to get here. And they are up against Yanis Smedins and Alexander Samoylovs. Very well supported and a team that have won this European Championships before. They beat home favorites, former world champions, and Olympic bronze medalists Alex Brower and Robert Mewson last night here on this show courts in emphatic fashion. 32 teams down to just four. The winner of this game will play the young guns from Norway. Sorum and Mole. We have just beaten the old guard, Herrera and Gavira in a fascinating contest. But this game it's, uh, will provide its own challenges. The team in your picture, well, Latvia. They will be favorites for this one, but there is no such thing as a bad Russian team, that's for sure. Konstantin Semenov on the left of your picture, almost seven feet tall. Now playing with Ilya Lechikov after such a great career with Krasilnikov. He now plays his volleyball with Nikita Lehmann, the famous indoor player. Semenov has been trying to get back on track after leaving the Russian program. This has been his finest performance and his best showing as of late. But this will be a completely different challenge. Samoylovs and Smedins. are one of the best teams in the game, and they are growing through this competition too. Smedins and Samoylovs have made two silvers together as well, one in 2017 in Jamala last year, and in 2013, they also took one in Klagenfurt where they lost to Herrera Gavira, as we meet the referees for this one. First team is Team Russia. He's the youngster of this game, only 22 years old. Receives in St. Petersburg, but already 24 tournaments with number one, Ilya Leshikov. First out, Ilya Leshikov, 22 years old. Russia have a deep, deep squad in beach volleyball. So many good defenders. But he has one of the best blockers that Russia have ever had. Konstantin Semenov, 29 years old nowadays, looking to win Russia's first ever European Championship in men's beach volleyball. But in front of them of this team. Yanis Smedin, 30 years old now. European champion in Klagenfurt in 2015. He has a liquid left arm and it is juicy. His partner renowned as the Lion King. Alexander Samoylos, 33. A height of 196. Not the biggest team on tour but they go very late in the block, they stay very low, and an interesting matchup is going to be Semenov in this game. Arthur Moylovs and Smedings going to try and run him around 
in the block. Can Semenov stay high, go over the top of the block, or will Latvia stay completely away from the Russian blocking monster? We're about to find out. This game should have a bit of everything. Schmedins to serve. On Leshikov, and they're out of system. There's no block. It's a bit of a spatch, a bit of an unclean contact from the Russian defender. Schmedins hitting from the left side. You can just see how fast his arm is. It's really, really quick. One of the smoothest arms in beach volleyball. Great setting. It's a little bit tight. Sorry, my mistake. It's too tight. Smolos. Net touch in the block. Schmedins again. Playing very wide distances. Very, very good swing from Leshikov. Playing big distances here. He gets his feet to the ball well, works the angle. His arm comes through the ball very smoothly, very, very nicely too. Great starts with an ace serve from Semenov. As mentioned, this team are trying to win the first ever gold medal for a Russian men's beach volleyball team in the European Championships. That's going to surprise many people for sure. Smolov goes slightly wider, trying to work the ball around Semenov. Keep an eye out for that. The Lion King echoes around the arena but he will not be sleeping through this game. They're trying to work the ball short over Semenov because it's difficult for a big man to block, land and turn. Serve slightly long. The Russian women's program have won once in 2006. The men's Russian indoor program playing as Russia or the Soviet Re Union have won this com competition from the CEV 15 times. Semenov playing with Vyacheslav Krasilnikov came the closest to gold in 2016 in BLBN, but he took a second to Nikolai and Lupo, who got knocked out of this competition <laughs> earlier on by Switzerland. And Switzerland, to be fair to them, another point for Latvia Schmedins. He's only really got that one avenue to play the ball down. Semenov really should have closed that off and seen that. There's no way he's going to the line. 3-3. The Swiss, as mentioned just before, they're really growing through this competition. Hydric Gerson took, took a ninth, Bila Kratika took a fifth in a growing pla platform built by Swiss legend Marcus Edgar. That ball's gone wide, so there's a change of ends at 4 3. Another upset, last year's world championship. Silver medalist Doppler Horst from Austria. They were knocked out by France, Crew, and I. This has been a competition of upsets, and you'd say on paper the Latvians are favourites for this one. Smedin's on two. This is Latvia making life difficult for Semenov. When the play's close, they chip it short. They try and make him land and turn. This time, Semenov's running in. It's a long way to run in on an angle to try and get Semenov. It's also setting up the two balls so nicely because the angle's already created by the serve. Smedin's just goes to town on that. Leshikov has a little fade away. Semenov could not do that in this game against Samoylov's suspensions. He cannot serve on an angle, have to run in nine or 10 meters to the net. And the angle created on the serve makes it really easy to play that two ball. They should have to get a bit smarter here, but they're, they're winning by one and that is smarter. Serving straight down the line is going to make it difficult for Latvia to run plays and to move Semenov around. Little bit of luck from the net man. Happy days. It was a good angle, so they run the ball wide. They're trying to run the two ball and the wide ball here, Latvia, and it's all to work against Semenov. Schmedins ran the two ball last time out, so Semenov has to appreciate that. And then they run the wide ball, and he's always scampering across the net. The fadeaway was great from some more as well. More jump serves from Schmedins. Still one down here, Latvia. Also, we have a funky uh -oh. set from Leshikov. Looking for a tool is Semenov. He goes high, he tries to go over the top, but it's a little bit loose and a little bit funky. The ball goes out of play. The 
Russian program, as mentioned, is very, very strong. Krasilnikov now playing with Nikita Liamin, who a Russian number one team, really, but they got knocked out at the first stage of the pool. Knockout phases. Semenov does do better this time. He's super high. He's going to be difficult to stop when he's in that zone. Smolov served very short again. He's sort of playing large distances, a bang angle once again with Samoylov. Leshikov makes an outstanding dig, but this should be a point for Latvia. But no, Semenov for a big guy runs in very quickly. It's sloppy here. It's a free ball for Samoylov. He's trying to put Smedinson on two, but he overcooks it. It's too tight. And you know the ball's tight when the knuckle comes out. Fair play to Semenov. He is in there quick. Serves a strong one from Semlov again. It's tight. That's Smedins. Let's have another look. Going with his right. Well done, Janusz Smedins. Sets very wide, but he manages just to work the ball off the block. And when it's tight, when you're up against the blocker like Semlov, you have to try and hit up off the hands. Little play. It's a good look. Good work to the line. They go quick again, it's too slow, the set's not what Samoylov's wanted. Maybe there's a shake of the head there. He wanted the ball quick to the outside. He wanted to try and speed Semenov up again. It's a little bit slower, but there's no block. Semenov in no man's land, and all angles are open, eight all. Pushing the Russian left side of deep is another free ball, but it's very carefully placed from Smedins, and this is Latvia playing the Latvian way. They like to speed the game up. They absolutely know where the Russians. And that's just because they're out of system. They're having to pass the ball over with no pressure. That two ball is there to try and put the defense under pressure. Latvia looking to recapture that famous win in Klagenfurt where they beat the Italians, Alex Ranieri and Skyball King, Adrian Karambula. Karambula seems to have fallen by the wayside at the moment. I'm sure we'll see him again on the European and World Tours. Nice side out from Lechikov. They're trying to push him deep to the middle as well. And it's difficult for a left sider to get out when they're served to the middle to access the angle. He does well to work the line. Very high, very smooth. The smoother the arm, the faster it operates, with the more control it operates, the more tension in it, the more problem there is. So Moylov struggling with that first contact again. He's up and down, he really did struggle to side out yesterday against Robert Mewson and Alexander Brower. The home favourites went out 2-1 to the Lion King and Schmedins. Almost a little bit of a left-handed Todd Rogers there. He's on the way down. He has a good look. His timing is a little bit out, but that means that his timing is out. So is the blockers and the defenders. It's a little roll short to the line. Tantalizing game, this one. Another whip from Schmedins. 
Let's you call. Look how much it means. They're looking to at least match what Krasilnikov and Semenov achieved in BLBN. That was a silver medal to Nikolai and Lupo, who have won this competition the last two years. But they were knocked out, almost to the surprise of the competition. They went out to Heidrich and Gerson, who we spoke about a little bit earlier. The Swiss team really building, showing signs of being world class. The winner of this game play Andy Moll and Christian Sorum, another young team, this time from Norway, and they are playing with just a relentlessness and a tenacity that can't be matched at the moment. So good, so strong. European Championship hosted in four cities, just like the 2015 World Championships. Holland have done a fantastic job. The Hague, Rotterdam, Utrecht and Appledorn have all held the group stages, but now The Hague is the home to this final four. Semenov mixing up the styles of serves he's using. It's too tight again. Frustration for Russia here because Lechikov would feel he should have dug this one. He's got caught off balance, it's gone deep on him. He's tried to make a read there and go on the short one. Instead, Simonov has made a good decision and gone deep. It's just caught Lechikov out. Bump cutty! Oh, Konstantin Semenov, stop that. Latvia is sleeping. The bump cutty has come to the party. Some more loss. Has a little whip to the line himself. And they're looking to target the block of Semenov. Many times they push the ball wide, and when they push the ball wide, this is a much better camera angle. Semenov has to come out as well. It just leaves a little bit too much open. If you watch the difference between Anders Moll in the last game and Semenov there, Anders Moll's finishing position was a lot more, it was penetrating more into the face of the spiker, and it was closing off into the centre of court. Semenov is just a little bit too high and a little bit too open at the moment. Nice side out though, all the same. Not digging that one, Mr. Schmedins. Olympic bronze medalist with Martin Pavins. They split up after the 2012 Olympics where they took bronze, and that's when Schmedins and Samoilov joined together. Jumbo! Beautiful work, ball control of the highest calibre from the Lion King. Beautiful rainbow, Some call it a rainbow, some call it a jumbo. Depends whether Europe, European, American. Yeah, Plavins ended up playing with Harold Redska for a couple of seasons on the World and CV tours. Now Plavins has changed partner again. He's playing with Edgar's Tox. And they took a ninth this week. Tox, a young blocker, improving fast, good angles. Unless you cough again, he's getting the lion's share of. The Lion King's service pressure. Ball goes into the net and we are tied at 14 all. Spin jump serve, strong from Smithers, a slightly out of system. Great blocking, really penetrating well, and that's later from Samoylovs the second time, then he gets a free gift. Samoylovs may not be the biggest blocker on tour, but he is fierce. The first one is really working on the hard hit. Hands are a little soft in there. The second one, he knows the shot's coming. Leshikov lower, so he has to delay his timing. Go for the swap block. 
the hands is crossed there to Moilofs. Schmedins can just buy a ticket for that point like the rest of the crowd and sit and watch his partner do all the work. Yeah! Not for long though, Schmedins joins the party. With one of the best jump serves we've seen all day. You look at players like Evandro, who hit their jump serve really, really hard and fast. This is just accurate from Schmedins, and it's due to his arm swing being so quick and so smooth. Yeah! That time he finds the net, but he will not mind this, a great period of this game. For Latvia, it's a one-point game, but Smolovs and Schmedins really do have the upper hand here. They have to go on Schmedins here. Quick to the stick. They're looking to work the block defense. Great setting from Samoylos. Everything they're doing, stressing out Semenov. He's drifting in the block there. It's tough for the defender. He has to sit around. He's nowhere near that one, Leshikov. Wide play this time from Russia. Oh, handling front call by the referee. Semenov is not happy with this one. He has a little look over. He's underneath the ball, that's for sure. He's not going through the ball. Maybe he's being called for being a little low. I not like the hand contact so much. That's a big time of this game to be called for a handling error from Semenov. He's not very happy. Ashikov again, cleaner this time from Semenov, but there's a hitting error once again. Leshikov being served on this angle. It's quite a few Russian left-siders do struggle here. Getting served inside the body, and it's, it's a long way to get out and come back in again to hit the ball on a sharp cross-court angle. He has to go to the line because his feet doesn't do the hard work. Again, served to the inside. Can he hit angle this time? It's a little bit of a better approach. He has to go back to the line. They're all over it, the Latvians. They know exactly what they're doing here. Block defense of the highest caliber. They know he can't access the angle. So Moilovs is sitting very, very still. He's waiting for that chop to the line, and he's all over it. He's making reads. They're making plays. Their block defense working in perfect unison here. inside again. Can he access angle this time? He can't. He absolutely can't, Leshikov, because he's facing too straight, and he's trying to find the angle. Instead of with the wrist in the arm, he's trying to turn his upper body too much, and he misses the sideline by a long, long way, and it's Latvia that take the first set here. And it's really been an interesting first set. They started so, so well. Russia, but Latvia take it 21-15 in the end. Shmedin Samoylovs. They are cooking on gas here in The Hague. Kings and queens of the beach. Champions within reach. Let your love shine on. Oh, baby. Let your soul shine through. Kings and queens of the beach. Oh, oh, yeah. Champions within reach. Lavia ran away with that first set. Serving from Schmedins was strong. The blocking was fantastic from the Lion King. In the end, Leshikov just could not find a side out. Volleyball is a game of angles and speed and distances, and really, they're really working the angles well, Latvia. Bringing Leshikov to the inside, blocking the line. holding in the seam, which is the middle of the court for the hard hit. But then as soon as they make a read and see the upper body of Leshikov go to the line, they're just sweeping up the play. Russia looking for their first gold in the European Championships. They are in struggle city here in The Hague. Not siding out. Siding out the phase of the play when your team are receiving serve. From the outside, it's so well read from Schmedins. He sees it so early from Semenov. Semenov with the windmill. 
The windmill's caught out again. This is phenomenal stuff from Latvia. They are seeing everything. Yeah. Unbelievable from the Latvians. All they're doing is looking to run the two ball to the pin. They're looking to run this blocker around. Semenov has to stay central, but look at Semenov. He's already gone. He's trying to drag Semenov with him. Semenov caught in two minds. He's going to get told all day long. They can't relax now. The Latvians, they have to keep pushing through this period. Yes! And they are pushing indeed. If it's not Smedins making defenses, it's Semenov's. making blocks like this off the net again so his timing has to be later but the finish position is pressing he's jumping back to the line great reading again again the setting inside to leshikov can he hit angle here not really again same thing they're serving him inside he can't work his feet quick enough to get out here go through this stage here he's looking far 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 too much to the line, and then he has to rotate his upper body, and unfortunately he loses his height in the air, and he sends the ball two or three meters out the back of the court. Has to work his feet quicker, Leshikov. Samoylovs, buckles to the line, good as gold, that's very easy. Once again, they're running the ball wide, they're stressing out Semenov, and they're just chipping over the top of him. The defender, Leshikov, has to sit round. No man's land. Smart play, tactically playing so, so well. The Latvians, they're a joy to watch when they're feeling like this. It's getting straight, it's a little bit of an easier pass, so he should be able to get out better here. Yeah, and he does, but again, it's another side out error. Maybe it's the pressure getting to Leshikov, but he's really struggling in his approach to find the ball in the hitting window and open up the whole court. Everything's trying to be turned back on an angle with his body. You watch players like Pablo Herrera, who their feet do the work and then his, their wrists do the rest of it and they pull their arm through, reading everything again. Samoylovs covering the court so nicely. Gets chippy to the line, but Semenov makes a rare block. Quick plays, unbelievable from Latvia. Semenov is having a torrid time here in the hay. He's running around all over the place. He doesn't know if it's coming on two. He doesn't know if the ball's going wide. Schmedins dummies the two ball, takes Semenov with him. Some Hoylovs can go to town all day long. So much fun to watch from the Latvians. They have to dig deep here, the Russians, though. Exactly the same again. He has to go to the line. And that's in again from Schmedins. Leshikov, they've got his number here, Latvia. He's a great, great player. He's played so well, Leshikov, throughout this. But you can't see him getting out of this one. Is that in or out? Is a line tagger. They've completely got his number. He's struggling to hit hard angles, so he has to shoot line. Latvia know that, and they're just sitting in the pocket. They're watching for the high line. They're making digs for days. Flamboyant, physical, beach volleyball from Latvia. It's very much the way this game is going as nations put taller and taller athletes onto the beach. The smaller athletes have to play faster, they have to run more plays, they have to run the two ball, they have to move the big players around. And that's exactly what Latvia are doing, and Semenov is not happy. It's an intriguing game, two contrasting styles of beach volleyball, but it's so entertaining. Ball goes wide this time for Leshkov, and this is different. They go for that wider ball, he passes on more of an angle, and that means he's got more room to play with the cross-court swing. Very accurate, it's a phenomenal swing from Leshkov. They need more of that, but that's a great start from Russia. They need to try and make some plays. Short on Samoylovs, they go on two. Better from Russia. 
They're serving well. It doesn't matter if it hits the net band. It's aggressive. It's strong serving. It's exactly what they need. It's too tight, that pass from Samoylovs. The tighter the play, the more Semenov gets into the game. It's wide and high. Chip to the line. We've seen that three or four times. Once again, they've hit that. All on a sharp angle. Leshikov has to respect here that Samoylovs can hit that sharp one. He has to stay still. And then they just nerdle the ball back to the line. They're working Semenov so, so hard here. It's a surf. Can't afford too many errors, the Russians. Five point game. Far better. And again, he's starting to answer the questions here. He's starting to establish his cross court swing again here, which means that Smedins will have to start in a wider position, or at least go to a wider position to look after that sharp swing. Much better. A bit like a game of chess. Smoilov goes to the line. That's a change of tactics. They decide to block angle, defend the line, and it's very strong. And it's just a little roll back to the line from Neshikov. And it's far better. He's improving as this game goes on, and it might just give Russia a chance. Here. He's sitting still. Great defense from the Russian. It's a little left hook down the line. Schmedins. Only the second time he's had to side the ball out. And that's two from two from the man they call Schmedi. Why? He loves chopping that ball back. It's a very late movement. It's hard to read. They don't know what to do here, Russia, because Samoylovs is siding out fairly easily, which they did again yesterday in the second two sets against Brown Houston. They side out so, so well. Wide ball. Smedins jumps back to the line. He leaves it very late. He leaves it open for Leshikov to see on his approach. He loves going to the line on this one again because he's struggling to establish the angle. Pops in. Unfortunately, everything's facing outside of court. He doesn't quite get his finish position sorted. Smolovs from the outside. Feet come into the ball. Very good from the Lion King. Feet are aggressive. Dynamic. Once again, Semenov has to do work to get out to the pin. He's there. It's a nice line in the block. He still finds a way through on the inside. Wide play. Oh, Much better. And it's that wide set that's really working for Russia because Leshikov can actually start to access the angle more. And that will make Latvia think. When he's just running the up and down set, he's passing very straight, so he didn't really have that wider, faster ball anyway. But on that set, he can either take it early, whip it on an angle, take it a bit later, use the line. Much better from Russia. They're getting better and better and better through this stage. Schmedins. Great touch from Leshikov, but he can't quite keep it alive. He's, even if he doesn't side out cleanly here, it's accurate enough, it's quick enough to put Russia under so much pressure. It's a great flipper from Leshikov. Ace from the Lion King. And all of a sudden, Latvia have their running shoes on and they are running away with this game. It's short out of the reach of Semenov, and he's a big guy. He won't like moving too many steps to pass the ball. Smooth, good passing from Leshikov. Now he comes back to the line, but it's a great bit of block defense from Latvia. Then they go knuckling as the set's too tight, but they manage to get the ball out wide again. Oh, my days. Samoylovs and Smedins, the Latvian flag is waving, and they're not just winning this game. They are playing so nicely. Semenov again. He's just not getting out. He's trying to stop the two ball, but they're passing with big distances. It's tough. You have to feel a bit sorry for him at the moment. 
Latvian crowd are here in numbers as they normally are. Smedin's popping Whoa. around again as he does. He goes so late. As you see Anders Mole in the first semi-final, if you were watching with us, he drops very late with his hands. Schmedins is a lot smaller, so he has to work his feet. And he has to get his line in the block with his feet by taking small steps. Mole can actually set up on one line and then just move his hands to another. Technical timeout, one-way traffic. You just have to admire small offs and spendings when they play like this. It's an entertaining show and it's really where the game has changed. It used to be in the early days of Karch Karai and Randy Stockers, even later than that going through the early mid-2000s where the ball just went up and down all day long, but now they're pushing the boundaries. The progression of the sport is fascinating. Again, two ball. No, jump setting. Oh, but Semenov. Well done, Konstantin Semenov. You've managed to get out. You've made a great read. A great turn early in the rally as well. Hats off to Konstantin Semenov here. He sees a jump set. If Smoilovs would have gone on two. Beautiful score. <laughs> Russia. Semenov would have been nowhere near him, but he takes a gamble. He goes to Schmedins, he takes the block. Out of system, so no fancy plays here. To run the game that Smolovs and Smedins love to play, you have to pass well. Chance for Leshikov. Oh, it's unfortunate, and that's a huge, huge blow for Leshikov. Once again, he's trying to hit the ball back on an angle by turning his body. It means there's a lot going on with his approach. Again, he loses height, his arm doesn't come through the ball. And that's a big, big play because now we're at a five-point game where we could have been back to just a three. Semenov out of sync, so he's hitting from way downtown. Semenov proving he could uh, play standing on the floor and still be a phenomenal side-out player. Sorry, he did jump just a little bit. But you know what I mean. To the middle again. Will he go to the line here or will he be able to work the angle? He does work the angle there, Leshikov. Beautiful roll shot from him. Five point game still. It looks as if Latvia will be up against Mole and Soren from Norway in this evening's final. It's a long way back here from Russia, but Semenov is one of the world's best, a fourth in Rio. For multiple events on CEV and World Tour. Back set this time, exactly what they want to try and achieve here. It's not the hardest swing, it's not technically the best hit from Smedins, but they're pushing the boundaries here. Semenov can't get across quick enough to protect the line. It means he's drifting in the air, he's not penetrating, he leaves himself open, and then they just work the block very, very nicely. It's exactly what they've tried to do all game long, pressurize Semenov. Right side out from Leshikov, and he goes straight to Semenov. And he congratulates his buddy for a great set. Five points, the difference. More errors mean that Latvia get closer to victory. Can't afford to turn down the intensity here. Shmoilovs and Smedins. This Russian team, there's no such thing as a bad Russian team, and they will come back. Leshikov goes for the knuckle. Well read from Shmoilovs. Now with a chance, there's no block. There's no respect from the Lion King. He has read that so, so well and so early to sweep up the line that he sees it from Leshikov. 
knows that the Russian has broken so late that the high line is well and truly on. Slow plays. Schmerdens. It's like a little squirrel on the backcourt. Second time of asking, the ball gets put away, but Schmerdens is scampering everywhere. He has no right. Luckily for him, the ball hangs on the tape for a long time, so it buys him a little bit more time to get underneath the ball. Still three needed here. Semenov going for his jump serve. Great jump serve as well. It's not pretty from Schmedes. He just sticks an arm out and manages to somehow keep the ball in the air. Semenov should score here, surely. He does. It's exactly the same. Funny enough, Semenov goes for the wide ball, tries to hit line. See if it's open or at least try and tool the block. Tooling the block is just hitting the ball off the block and out of play. And it's Samoilovs that's drifting. Exactly the same tactic as what Latvia have been doing to Semenov at times. Semenov heating up here from the baseline. Semenov playing defense. Still playing defense. Leshkov is in the block. And that's maybe because he's a little bit quicker and it just changes things up. Semenov has struggled to make blocks in this game. Leshikov stays patient and does very well. So he just changed it around to change the picture for Latvia. And that's because Semenov is getting run ragged. Two tools in a row for Russia, two points. Third time unlucky for Konstantin Semenov. Two will do it for Latvia. They come to the middle, they're trying to take away the sharp angle. Can't really go to the angle, something we've seen for this whole game. Neshikov, getting served that inside hand means it's very difficult to get out, get your feet pointing back to cross court to the swing line. That's always his comfortable option there. Surprising, Latvia didn't take it away from him. Better though from Russia. It's a slow start. They can be very proud of how they've come back in this game. It's tight. Smoilov wins the point for Latvia. Good reactions from Smoilov. And now Smoilov Smedins have their first match point. They have five goes, is it? Too tight. Great work from Smedins. He pushes the ball up into the hands of the Russian blocker, and it means the ball comes out with time. Anyway, first match point for Latvia. Semenov goes high, goes long, and it's Latvia, the champions from 2015 in Klagenfurt. They will be fighting for gold against Norway here in The Hague. It was comfortable, it was cruisy, it was flamboyant. It was an absolute masterclass from Samoilovs and Smedins, who are getting back to their very best. Semenov got run around in the block. He's a little bit underneath that one in his spike approach. They played better as that second set progressed, but the Lion King and Smedins were on top form. The Lion King roars. The last time Latvia won this competition it was against Alex Ranieri, Adrian Karambula. This time they have Norway. Sorum and Mole in the final. 21 15. 21 15. One way traffic for Latvia here in The Hague. Let your sun shine through. Can you? Kings and queens of the beach. Champions within reach. Let your love shine on. Oh, baby. Let your sun shine through. Kings and queens of the beach. Oh, oh yeah. Champions within reach. Let your love
Well, Latvia have made their way into this evening's final here in The Hague. They will be playing Norway. What an evening we have coming your way.